a big reason why I was able to go full time as a streamer was the 70 30 deal. Like I, I remember I was, I was living at home. I was working on my teaching certificate at first. Whenever I first started streaming, I was literally, I, I accidentally became a streamer. Proposed changes to monetization approaches are reportedly being discussed discuss at Twitch with a big change to partner revenue cuts being proposed. In a report by Bloomberg, several sources state that Amazon, Twitch's parent company, is continuing to look for long-term answers to financial stability for the streaming platform, sometimes at the expense of its users. One of the largest changes that could be introduced in the coming months will cut revenue from channel subscriptions, which can range from $5 to $25, uh, from 70% to just 50% for Twitch partners, which consists of Twitch's biggest streamers. Uh, well, so not, not every partner has this to begin with. Another proposed change is introducing new tiers to its partner program while loosening restrictions on where creators are allowed to stream, where they're being partnered with Twitch by allowing creators to stream on YouTube and Facebook. Twitch seemingly hopes that the cut in revenue... No partners are going to be struggling now. So make sure to invest this wisely. Gotta think about your future pay cut. Thank you, Solar. Take it with 27 months, dude. Uh, ads are also being spotlighted more on potential changes with more revenue opportunities for creators who choose to run Twitch ads more frequently and for longer. This has always been a challenging balance for Twitch and its streamers to strike. Given the random nature of when ads run, it negatively influences live streams by broadcasting at important times. That is why I run my ads whenever I'm like taking a break from whatever, like I'm going to the bathroom or like I'm loading something or whatever. That's why I want to That's why I run my ads then. Frustrating viewers in the process. That's why my viewers aren't frustrated. As Bloomberg points out, some streamers have just accepted that this is where Twitch is headed, which is which makes new revenue sharing plans for ads plausible in the future. The report stresses that none of the changes have been formally agreed upon which can see many, if not all of them, change entirely before being introduced. With so many of its competitors struggling to attract creators in the same way, Twitch certainly has to pull has the pull to make large changes like this in pursuit to make Asma's nearly billion dollar purchase worth it. So, okay, I mean, that's pretty much what I, what I read. Well, this is just a leak, right? And what I think happened, I think internally, probably they, they've just like brainstormed some ideas. Realistically, I think they've probably brainstormed some ideas of like, what about this? What about this? This is this, this is that and somebody probably just leaked it that Twitch is thinking about this. First off, most partners have a 50-50 deal. Most people don't have a 70-30 /50, deal. I don't know what percent of people, but I, I definitely know it's not the majority of, of streamers, the majority of partnered streamers have the 70-30 deal. I got the 70-30 deal in 2018. I think I was at like 3,000 subs-ish, I think. I don't remember exactly whenever I got it. I mean, I'll be honest, I hope they don't do this. Right? Just the, 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 the honest truth about this. This 70-30 deal, or sorry, if they were to get rid of the 70-30 deal for people, it actually doesn't affect big streamers as much. Cause I feel like if you've noticed this, sometimes really big streamers don't even have that many subs for, for their viewership. And, and there's a number of reasons for that. But I feel like I feel like the the scaling, like your the amount of your revenue that comes from subs scales down as you grow as a streamer. We're we're just trying to do the best that we can to put together the the the, the best content and entertain the most amount of people that we can. And what percent is big streamers on Twitch? Uh, it, it, that's the thing. That's another good question. It's not really a lot of a, a lot of people on Twitch that that are not affected by this. So. J just for example, somebody like Asmin, Asmin does not have a lot of subs for, for how many viewers he has. There's a number of reasons for that. He, he doesn't really, he doesn't really thank his subs and resubs, right? Cause he's, he's it's just, it's just, he like, he, he, he does it like in breaks and stuff like that. And I do this too sometimes. And, and people will then like, feel like their, their sub messages got missed, but like, I'll hit it like five minutes later. Um, some people never shout it out at all, right? Like Shroud doesn't sh shout out his subs at all. Uh, so he doesn't have very many subs, but then other people, so just different people have, have like different sub counts, right? Like for example, Summit still has a ton of subs, right? Summit, Summit still has like, I mean, usually every time I look, he's got like, like 20, 30K subs, right? The point of what I'm saying here is the, the people that this affects the most, I would say are like mid range streamers and uh, like mid range streamers who have the deal and I mean, I don't think there's a lot of like smaller streamers that have the deal, but just kind of recalling from my own personal experience, uh, a big reason why I was able to go full time as a streamer was the 70, 30 deal. Like I, I remember I was, I was living at home. I was working on my teaching certificate at first. Whenever I first started streaming, I was literally, I, I accidentally became a streamer, right? Like I, I kind of accidentally became a streamer. I made YouTube videos talking about how to play Rep Paladin in vanilla because there wasn't a lot of good content on it. And me and Dracova knew like everything about vanilla Rep Paladin. So we wanted to make videos kind of talking about this stuff. And we did, 
eventually we started streaming because I, I wanted to stream my raids literally because I wanted to record my raids and I didn't have enough space on my hard drive to record them and then post them on YouTube. So I just streamed them on YouTube. So I ended up doing that. We kind of made it, a, we made it a thing. Uh, ended up growing to be the biggest private server streamer on YouTube. Ended up getting banned, moved to Twitch. I had to wait until Classic WoW came out to stream Classic WoW again. In the meantime, what did I do? I talked about Classic. I played retail and, and talked about Classic. I did some variety. I did IRL. Uh, me and Ms. Kiff became friends shortly after I, I got on Twitch. Um, eventually, Ms. started streaming. Me and Ms. started doing IRL and a bunch of stuff together. Uh, Ms. moves to Austin. Uh, E-Rob, E-Rob is here. We had like the U-Trip, everything, all that stuff, right? Like that's a whole long story. That's a lot of, I can, I can go into a lot of lore, right? But specifically with this, whenever I was able to move from Dallas to Austin, I don't think it would have happened had, uh, had it not been for that 70-30 deal. Right, because basically what the 70-30 deal is, is is you get one more dollar per sub um, than what you get with a 50-50 deal, right? You get three and a half instead of two and a half. So that 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 much revenue, that much more uh, income was basically like the difference of being able to like uh, get, a, get a place in Austin instead of leaving my parents, right? I miss the stadium. The stadium days were good. I did, I did. I basically lived in a stadium. I literally, I, I snuck an air mattress into the football stadium and I would sleep in the stadium some nights because I would end so late that I would be like starting to fall asleep while driving and it was really dangerous. So I started, I started sleeping in the stadium a lot of nights while I was working for the football team. So yeah. Why'd you get banned on YouTube? I got a, I got a three month DMCA from Blizzard because uh, I was streaming private servers. Red Punk, thank you for the tier one. And now, like me and Blizzard, I I, I work like very closely with Blizzard about the classic. I was I was like on the, I was literally I was told I was on the shit list. That was, I was like on the list of like like public enemy number one for, for Blizzard. But then but then they started watching my content. They started watching my streams and were like, dude, we, this guy's actually good. And then they uh they started working with me on classic. You're the first Tyler one. No no, uh, Ty. Basically, it's similar to what happened with Tyler, Can you except still stream on YouTube Tyler's thing you happened wanted, before or mine. Is it I think. A perma? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tyler. I, I'm pretty sure Tyler's thing happened before mine. This whole thing, I, I think this. It, it, long story short, right? We're talking about a lot of lore and this and that. The problem with this, if they do this, uh, I mean, sure, it would it would, it would be like a, a, a sucky thing for anybody with a lot of subs, right? Um, that's a that's a bigger streamer because let's say let's say you're you're 10k you got 10k subs right what am I at right now I'm at 6787 I have 6787 subs right now so if this were to happen I would lose like almost 7k a month right 6700 dollars a month I, I I would lose um, which is that that sucks right that sucks but you can make you can make up for that with like if I were to take on another sponsor or something like that in the grand scheme of things you could you can take you, you can make that up if you wanted to right um run more ads <laughs> no I, I I don't even think I, I wouldn't run any more ads than what I currently run who this really affects is somebody who's like on the on the fringe of being a full-time streamer and not being a full-time streamer and if they've only got like only got like two two three thousand subs right because the the two to three thousand subs let's say you have two to yeah. three thousand subs and now you got a 70 30 deal now you have two to three thousand more dollars of income a month and that three thousand dollars of income can be enough for you know uh moving somewhere getting pay, paying for food all your living expenses right like that, that that could be like that difference for the month depending on where you live right depending on where you live uh they don't really give small partners 730 this says apparently so with 2k viewers talking about how they want to negotiate it no it's it's very difficult to get the 70 30 deal now a lot of the 70 30 deal stuff comes from uh being involved in esports like if you if you're on an esports team if you're on if you're on an org that has like that like a negotiation uh They've negotiated that, oh, we have this deal for our partners. This is like old, like legacy org contracts. Um, cause, cause org deals have, have changed. Like from back whenever we're talking like TSM originally, Liquid and, and CLG, uh, Method even. Everybody has all these different deals, right? Every, every org and every team has all these different deals. Um, and as time gone, has gone on, they've been, uh, willing to do different things for different orgs, right? Or really, it, they mostly like tighten up more and more and they, they give less to, to, to new orgs. The issue is, like I said, uh, it's not really for big streamers. Uh, as much as it would suck, I mean, I, hey, I'll be honest. I think, I think if, 
I think if anybody looks at this who has a 70-30 deal and says like, oh, this is not that big of a deal, or like, sorry, if they say they don't care about it, well, I think they're just lying, right? Because it's like, well, that sucks, right? Anytime it's like minus, minus however much money, that sucks. But at the end of the day, it, it, it really affects like the, the mid-tier streamers a lot more. Yeah, the mid-tier streamers uh, would get really, really screwed by this. Anybody who has like a 70-30 deal. Um, or like, I mean, for example, you know who else is a good example? Cause like, like Grayson, Grayson actually has a 70, 30 deal because he's, he has like a legacy esports contract. Grayson gets a 70, 30 deal. My roommate, my arena partner, right? And, and he's not like a huge streamer, but that 70, 30 deal basically allows him to be a full-time streamer. Erob just got 70, 30. <laughs> Erob just got 70, 30 and immediately gone.